would seem to me that although our Muslim friends tell us that this Quran is Allah's word, coming straight from Allah to Muhammad, revealed to him through the angel Jibreel. Um, the, 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 what throws kind of questions in the air is that when I read previous texts or previous, um, I don't know, um, narrat narrations or just stories, you know, Jewish stories, um, Roman stories, and all these kind of, um, you know, literature from, a from the ancient times, we find that many of these so-called um, Quranic texts that's come and revealed straight from Allah was actually, had actually been plagiarized from these books. And so my question is to you is this, is why would we say the Quran is the word of God or is the word of Allah if we have later, if you like, explicit plag um, plagiarism contained within the Quran? That's my question to you. Well, I mean, the, one of the titles of the Quran that it gives itself is like the remembrance. Um, remembrance. And it's also a confirmation of that, of that which that came before it. Uh, so that which came before it um, are the prophets and messengers and stories that were known about them. Some of those stories may be found in the Bible, some of them may be found in extra biblical material and extra chronic material. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're false. Though. There's different types of like plagiarism. So I guess if you're thinking of literacy plagiarism, like Matthew, for example, copying or borrowing, like the form of John the Baptist, or Mark the Baptist, for example, or Isaiah chapter 47, the basically quoted like one king, and then chapter 22, where word for word, paragraph for paragraph, you know, sentence by sentence, and again, it's the same. Um, with that, I've not seen any of those types of examples, but in terms of the message, then yeah, I can see the similarities or the confirmation of the message. So if Noah came before Muhammad's time and he preached this one God, then would you expect Muhammad to also say the same thing? Or if he says there's two gods, then does he have to be different in order for him to be before, in order to be a revelation of God? Or does he have to confirm that what came before it? Do you, you have a Quran? So do you have a Quran in I've got the English translation. Yeah, yeah, if you can use it. Because my issue is this, is that there are certain stories, I mean there's numerous stories, let me just say, yeah. let's say a few. There's numerous yeah. stories, yeah. or let's say, I don't know, verses or lines, that we know are false, so we know that are not true, okay? But by but the then, way, can you hear me or not? Am I being picked up or? Yeah, 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 because um, yeah, yeah, microphone. yeah, the, the, the well, mic, the mic's picking Yeah, well, this, really this well, one okay. needs to be sort of pointing at you to get the sound best. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. So then your oh, picture nice. will be on the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, I'm already on the you don't YouTube mind, video. all right. Well, that's, that's the best way to make sure it picks oh, you up is yeah. to film you because it goes like this. If I put the set camera like this, it might not pick it up. It's a direct beam. Is, is it possible can I, can that we can you, start can again? Or we you? can. Well, I've got well, you all on the tape anyway. Just carry on. Just, okay. just carry on. Okay, that's just, fine. Yeah. yeah I mean, if the. Edit, yeah. Yeah, if you need yeah. me to speak up, just tell me because I don't have a loud voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I get this close, that's all right. Because we're in a quiet area. I'm sure they'll be able to pick us, the camera will be able to pick our voices up. Okay, fair um, enough. So, what I'm saying is this is that, for example, Allah <laughs> will make statements. <laughs> Allah will make statements in the Quran. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is what... Um, Excuse me, naked brother. Yes. So, 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 for example, Allah will make statements in the Quran. He says, this is what I have decreed. Or this is what I have said. And then we will look into other... Um, historical writings or literature, we find that we're well, holding, no, this is actually what Allah said. This is actually what some other person said. This is what another writer said. And we find that we're well, holding, Allah is saying that he, he said this. So for, so for example, um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the verse where it says, where Allah says um, that if you kill one man, then it's like you kill the whole of the Thai, Thai world and you speak it to the Jews. Now, sometimes my Muslim friends, what they say is that, oh, Allah is saying that about all the Muslims. But actually, the, the verse is directed at, 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 at the Israelites or the Jews. But the question is, the thing is this, is that when you go into certain um, historical writings, we find that no, or for example, we, we find that there's nowhere 
because you, as you said, you said some of the um, some of the uh, Quran is affirmation of what's happened in the past, right? But we find there's nowhere where you can find writings where God has said this in the past. So, for example, let me give examples just so that it makes a little bit more sense. Now, I'm just kind of, I'm not just waffling on. Yeah. So, a, have you ever heard of Mishnah Sanhedrin? Um, so we just we go back to like one example at a yeah, time. Yeah, it's the same, so like it's the same the example. You gave so, 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 so the example is this. It's, um, it's the same example in the Surah 5, 31, um, 32. So 31 through to 32. It says, so Allah sent forth a crow, a raven, scratching the crowd from the ground um, to show him how to hide his brother's corpse. He said, woe to me, I was not even capable enough to be like this crow. So I would hide um, and bury my brother's corpse and he remained remorseful. Verse 32, because of that he decreed upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, unless for a soul or for corruption in the land, it is as if he had slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he had saved mankind entirely. And our messenger, our messengers had certainly come to them with clear proofs, but indeed many of them after that throughout the land were transgressors. And so when you go to other texts like the Mishnah Sanhedrin, or let's see, let's look, um, there's, other, there's other texts like um, um, you have the Gospel of Tom, um, Thomas. And you have a lot of these um, either apocryphal writings or Gnostic writings, you find that these were written centuries, like hundreds and hundreds of years prior to Muhammad coming along. And these are books that we have rejected, books that we know that are on hist historical, um, they're written by um, you know, people who have an agenda against Christianity. Mm -hmm. But yet Muhammad, is, seems to me, as I say, you know, you can kind of refute this, but it would seem to me that he's quoting from these books, or quoting from this literature, when it has nothing to do with God. And so my question is this, is that if these, like, for example, like what I just read, that was from the second, third century. Muhammad came about in the sixth or seventh century. Then you have the Gospel of Thomas, which will probably be around the third century. And so we're having all these books. Well, let's believe it was written in the first century. First century, okay. The uh, Gospel of Thomas. So, and, so this uh, is way before Muhammad. I mean, the manuscript form is not the Quran before. anyway. You're, you're assuming something in the second, second century. century. Okay, when I finish with my, I'll talk to you after. But Muslims don't believe Muhammad. I don't need to do with right. the Quran. So, so before we start. But, but in terms of like yes, the sure. other examples you give, I think you missed the point with respect. It's about the message sure. itself and not the uh, literacy relationship between the Quran and what was previously written before. So it's the message that you get out of them. And even though the Quran says that this was mentioned to the Jews, that we decreed to the Jews of Israel, and hence we've, why we find it outside of the Quran, where the Jews are being told this message. Uh, but the message is given to Muslims now in the Quran, because the message still applies. Um, it, it's, uh, it's like the Ten Commandments was given to Moses and to the children, children of Israel, but Christians will say the Ten Commandments are still relevant today, they still apply to, they still apply to us today, even though they were originally given to the children of Israel. So this universal principle about if you take a life, it's as if you have killed the whole of mankind, is still relevant for all times, not just for one particular period of time. The, the, the issue we have, um, this is just... But you know, like in terms of, like, in terms of writings being written a couple of hundred years, years after, um, like there's example of like two angels fighting over the burial and death of Moses. So where do we find this in the Old Testament? Like in the letter of Jude, which is part of the New Testament now, and not all Christians accepted Jude as being canonical or part of the Bible, but it, it is accepted in, in, in the church that you belong to. Uh, and, it, and Jude does say that angels fought over the bodies of Mo, uh, body of Moses, but, but this is nowhere to be found in the Old Testament. As far as I know, no Jew today would believe this or accept this story. But it's found in an outside book written hundreds of years or maybe thousands of years after Moses, um, known as the Book of Enoch. So, uh, 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 it's just confirming of what I said, so complimenting. So, yeah. So, so, so that's just because something comes okay, there doesn't necessarily mean it's false, because something written doesn't mean it existed before, like in oral form okay. and so on. Can I respond that's a good, good point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so we have here, um, Paul here, who's, could you film me if you want? 
We're all here. He's we're part of the Islamic Dawa team. Uh, there's no, and he's constantly, by the way, there's no Islamic Dawa team, by the way. That's a, 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 a myth, by the way. And I've asked him once, I've asked him twice to stop interrupting. He's my friend. Um, Are you okay with me being here, Nazam? Are you okay with me being here, Nazam? Can you ask yeah. him not to interrupt? Uh, I'm his friend. He's asked me to okay. participate. Can you stop him? He's asked okay. me to participate. Can you stop him? So I've been invited. Can you turn the camera a second? I've been invited by Nazam to participate. Thank you, Nazam. Thank you, Nazam. We're all friends. We're all friends. We're all friends. Thank you, Nazam. 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 The, the, the fruitfulness of the discussion we're having. Nazem, you made a good so point, let's, let's by the way. You made a very good point. Discussion. And if you want to follow the Quran, by the way. Can you stop disrupting no, our no, conversation? I'm, I'm a friend here. I'm okay, invited. So, so you come to hijack I'm the conversation. I'm invited. Like he's got, he's come um, to hijack the conversation. No, I am. I'm a friend okay. of his. So what he's done, oh, no, he, he realizes. Yeah, okay, no, Paul, I, can I discuss? Let me debate with you. No, no, no. Paul, I'll debate with you. No, no, no. Because, no, no, wait. Why are you saying that? But now he's having a meltdown. He's having a meltdown. So we'll have the discussion. So the question I put to Nas, okay? This the is question is now. Now, now, now. This is the passage. This is the passage. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so, this is typical of the Islamic Dawah. Okay. If they see a Christian and a Muslim having a discussion, and they know that um, that the Christian is going to pose or challenge the Muslim on the religion and will critique it, immediately they start panicking. They start to become afraid, and what they do is they interrupt the conversations. Now, I was having an enjoyable conversation with my Muslim friend Nazi here, him and here called Kung Paul Williams, who's infinite, he's who's um, infamous for coming to Speaker's Corner and attacking young way, Christians, is the biggest Islam attacking the big, um, the new convert Islam. Christians. Yuck, 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 yuck. He's constantly, he knows more the Bible, he's admitted this on camera, he knows more the Bible than he knows the Quran. I, I do, this is true. I and so he studies the Bible just to refute. Can, can I respond to that? Yeah, yeah, just to refute. <laughs> I was a Christian a lot longer, a lot longer than I was a Muslim. Right, so, Hence I know more about the Bible than he does. So, so, he doesn't want to talk about the Bible. The Islamic Dawah team will not allow for fruitful discussion. And so this is the issue we have in here at Speaker's Corner. And so I'd encourage Christians, when they come to Speaker's Corner, please look up your word, read, study, understand what did the plan of this. Because if you look into the Quran, the Quran explicitly states that Allah is a deceiver. And what we have is we have replica, um, replication, uh, replicates of um, Allah who come to Speaker's Corner to also deceive young innocent people who do not know enough about Islam. Exactly what Paul Williams here is doing. Godwin will speak later. Okay, okay so, so, so now, uh, hopefully if there's no discussion, I'll speak to you again. Yeah, yeah we'll take it. Maybe sit down and yes? talk. Yes? Alright, okay. Alright, okay. uh, 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 okay. So, so, so I would encourage also my Muslim friends to really look into Islam because Islam is a religion but it's not of God. Muhammad is the false prophet but Jesus Christ is the truth for wearing a life and it's come to give life, it's come to give hope. But the only way you can receive the only way you can receive that hope is if you put your faith in Jesus. That means you've got to reject, you've got to dissociate with Islam and come to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus. God bless.